so the day has come you can see trucks all cleaned out here at the terminal and getting ready to turn the truck in so let's finish getting everything ready and let's go in here we're actually going to go get an allen wrench to take the suicide knob and uh yeah that's what we're doing so we'll be back with you here shortly all right guys all right so we are in our rental car rental car heading to orientation which starts tomorrow morning so dropped off the truck uh the Volvo at Loudon on Thursday got the rented car came home for the weekend and today is Sunday the uh let's see the 7th May 7th and we are heading we are heading out east to do our orientation so I just want to kind of document this kind of the start to finish and uh, y'all see how the transition goes uh, so far the onboarding stuff was you know pretty pretty straightforward just like everything else you know every other company that i've dealt with um, pretty much everything's online you do all your stuff before you get there and uh so tomorrow is uh supposedly going to be consistent of drug test um we'll do the uh drive the truck I guess the, the driver test and the securement test uh, is all supposed to happen tomorrow so I assume the first thing in the morning just like everybody else will be sent to go do our drug test and you know physical but this one was a little bit different um, it just said bring your current uh, valid medical card which is my I get a two-year uh, medical card and I still have um, a year left on there so I'm not sure what's gonna happen if they'll just go ahead and uh, you know do me a whole new physical DOT physical and drug test or just a drug test and uh, do the DOT physical next year so Whichever one happens, happens. Uh, but just wanted to let you guys know uh, I ain't done a couple of videos. I ain't done any video. I got several videos that I've done. I just haven't uploaded any. Uh, I haven't edited any. Uh, I've just been kind of really hanging out with the wife. We've been down at the lake and just, just chilling. Uh, I had a bunch of. Uh, a bunch of honey-do list stuff that I'd done last week um, our daughter just now bought a house so I went down there and, and, and done uh, some hanging the pictures and that kind of stuff for her and uh, mowed the grass I had mowed again today and just a uh, just a list of things that I had to get done before rolling out so I can tell you this from uh, you know this is my fifth time um, of moving truck to truck and I can tell you it's still it still sucks it still sucks so that it does 
this time was uh, a little bit more organized as far as where things was and um, I've got the tote system now where I've got my underwear and my socks and my, my jeans and my shirts and my long sleeve shirts and my sheets uh, all my bedding stuff those are all in uh, you know separate smaller totes so it makes it nice to uh, convenient I should say to know where everything is but we are about ready to get on the interstate and uh, I'll be back with you guys here shortly well, I've never I've never had to use these activation codes uh, to get regular gas uh, turn this thing off but in my email, well, let's see, it says that uh, there is. It says to use these codes, Mike. I don't like it. Don't put Matt in there for. Um, ba -ba -da -da. Travel and orientation. <clears throat> Fuel codes. Here we go. So I've got um, four fuel codes for $35 each. I'll just need one of them to get me down there. Um, I've never used these before, so bear with me one second. We'll go in here and see how tricky it is. Okay, so basically I just had to give them the, the code inside and they kind of did it like you were if you were to write out an EFS check but you give them the code and it, boom uh, super simple uh, she looked at me with a deer in the headlights when I first told her what I was doing and she had never done it before and I said hey well I guess we'll learn together so super easy um, getting back on the road now I'm getting ready to hit back on the interstate and we will go from there I'll be back here with you guys shortly. Be safe. All right, guys. So we have made it here, and we just now finished up some dinner, and we're getting ready to just go to the room. And you know how it is. We're gonna wait until the morning. And uh, we'll go from there. But when I walked through earlier, I walked to the right, and I really didn't notice there was a. Looks like there's a little bar area over here. But uh, it's a pretty nice little hotel. So let's check it out.
this uh, elevator is uh, earlier I noticed it is extremely hot for some reason. So. It's not too bad. We got too clean in the bed or in the room. So, not a bad little room. And we've got the shower, of course, everything else. We got all the truck or all the stuff for the truck. Once we get it, throw everything in there. And, uh, yeah, not that bad. Not that bad. 